What's up guys, Jay? Morning after kill, and I'm back here on Destiny! And I know to a lot of you guys, it's gonna seem like I'm jumping on a bandwagon here, or I'm gonna be beating a dead horse topic, but recently, in the community, one of the hot topics seems to be skill-based matchmaking in the Crucible, and whether or not it's ruining a lot of Guardians' PvP experience. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me what my opinion is on skill-based matchmaking in the Crucible, and whether or not I think that connection-based matchmaking should be re-implemented in Destiny. Well, let's be real here. I've been complaining about skill-based matchmaking since January of 2016 of last year. This shit ain't nothing new. Ever since I noticed it was implemented in place, I've been complaining about it, but the community has called me fucking crazy. No other content creators would back me either, and it's a shame, because it's been a problem for a long time coming, but nobody wants to speak up when the game is doing well and it's popping off hard, views are good, and any dissented opinions in the Destiny community would have caused them to be ostracized as a hater. And when most of these guys are making their living off of playing Destiny, let's face it, it's not good for business to directly combat the very game that's paying your motherfucking bills. But now that Rise of Iron's content is exhausted, new games have been released, and the player base on Destiny has been thinned considerably in the last few weeks. The issues of skill-based matchmaking are ever more prevalent, and now you have more prominent PvP content creators are all of a sudden Johnny fucking do right and are fighting against Bungie to get connection based matchmaking implemented like it was in year one Destiny. But this has been a problem for over a year now, and any time I've mentioned it in the last year, I was just told, oh, you're just bad at PvP, get good, play with a group of friends if you're tired of being pub stomped, even though if you play with friends that have a higher skill rated than you, you'll end up having even less fun going up against groups of people with higher skill ratings than you. So I, I find it kind of hilarious that after a year, people are just now finding out that skill-based matchmaking makes Destiny's PvP just plain unfun. So why this sudden outburst in the community against skill-based matchmaking now? Why hasn't anybody brought this up before? Well, theoretically, skill-based matchmaking is a great way to ensure that a large portion of the player base pool has a chance of competing in PvP without coming up against the best of the best, while simultaneously allowing the worst of the worst to get a grip on the game. The problem is, this only works when the player base is a healthy population of people. Right now, and the same as last year when I was originally complaining about it, the Destiny player base has thinned out, making skill-based matchmaking counterintuitive to what Bungie is trying to accomplish. Why? Well, simply because the fact that your best skill-based match might not be with somebody that you have a great connection with. So, not only are you facing people of equal or better skill level than yourself, but you're also gonna have to deal with a large amount of lags on servers that aren't the best optimized for a fair competitive based experience. So, not only are you gonna be playing against players that you need to try your best against, but you're also gonna be dealing with it on an unfair playing field. You know, every game online has latency issues, but for Destiny, it's more noticeable because you have three things working against you. The connection, skill-based matchmaking, and Bungie has recently come out and mentioned that Destiny's PvP runs on a 30 hertz tick rate connection, meaning that the information on your screen is refreshing at a rate of 30 times per second. But since Red Bar Warrior over there hasn't received the information that your console has sent them, it seems like your bullets or your melee hasn't hit them yet. They get the kill, and a second later, the information that you sent catches up to their connection, gets processed by their console, and then you trade kills. By comparison, 
games like Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, and Counter-Strike run at 60 hertz or better, meaning that double the information is being sent per second, allowing for a more accurate tracking of damage and bullet trajectories. Now, all of this is happening in a blink of an eye, and in normal games like COD or Battlefield, you don't really notice the low tick rate on the servers because the game matches by connection, not by skill, allowing you to have good games, bad games, in between those ass-stomping games. But when you're going against an evenly skilled opponent on a connection that's not your best match, it's super noticeable. If you remember a while back, I think it was during Black Ops 3, COD implemented a stealth patch that introduced skill-based matchmaking, and the entire community immediately noticed, backlashed, and it reverted back to a connection-based matchmaking within a week or so. But we don't have that here in Destiny. We don't have the community that dissents against Bungie, that tells them that they're fucking up, that they need to change this, because everybody is too busy just fucking polishing their balls. But a wise man once said, complaining without proposing a solution is just whining. And I agree. And that's why Destiny 2 not only needs higher refresh rated servers, but it's also going to need a ranked and social playlist similar to what we saw in the old Halo days. But what Destiny really needs right now is content creators that aren't afraid to stand up and say what's wrong, what needs fixing, and how do we go about fixing this, because this has been a problem plaguing the Crucible since the Taken King, and if everybody stood up then and said no at the time, like the COD community did, it probably would have been changed by now, but instead, Bungie's received no feedback all year long from the top voices in the community, and this, th this is what you get, you reap what you sow, and now it's too late for Destiny 1, but hopefully, those voice in their contention now keep shouting into the night and hopefully Bungie will hear us or Destiny 2. So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers. Watch my motherfucking videos. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on skill-based matchmaking? Would you like to see the Crucible become a fun playground where you and your friends can join together, have fun, not worried about what gun you're using or if you're playing with the meta or who you're going against or possibly maybe not even being able to play with friends because their skill rating is so high that it puts you into games against players with way higher than the average skill rating of your best player in your squad? Tell me in the comment section down below. My name is Jay. What an afterkill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.